As the coronavirus pandemic unfolds, some major questions remain unanswered. How many people will become infected? When is a surge of cases expected? Is COVID-19 deadlier than the flu? D News 8's David Gopperson takes a look at the numbers based on the limited modeling that's been made public. I'm curious why you're reluctant to give a peak date. Hard questions Monday for Governor Gavin Newsom at his daily media conference on COVID-19. The governor says he can't reveal the actual numbers of COVID cases statewide because testing is limited and his modeling may not be accurate. It's a dynamic uh, model and it radically is different, I can assure you, than it was just four or five days ago. State and county officials prefer to focus instead on the number of hospital beds that will be needed for COVID-19 patients and the approximate date a surge is expected at hospitals. Based on our models, we project that we will need that towards the second half of the month of May. A hospital surge in mid-May matches up with modeling released last week by San Diego County, showing 7,000 local COVID-19 patients in the hospital by April or May. Since 80% of cases do not require hospitalization, San Diego County could see 35,000 COVID-19 cases overall and up to 350 deaths by May. Compare those numbers to San Diego County's current flu cases. So far this year, 98 people have died from the flu out of more than 20,000 confirmed flu cases, showing a 0.5% death rate from the flu. We currently have seven deaths out of 603 COVID-19 cases in San Diego County, showing a 1% death rate. The county told me its flu numbers are much more reliable than its coronavirus numbers because flu testing is widespread and the vast majority of coronavirus patients have not been tested. We are still ahead, I believe meaningfully ahead, of the apex that is coming. Now, keep in mind, nobody ever predicted that a COVID-19 surge would be here in San Diego County now at the end of March. The modeling shows mid-April, May for a surge, so it's not here yet, but experts say it is coming. Carlo? And maybe one of the factors, David, is how well we, re we react to all this social distancing guidelines. When that surge hits depends a great deal on us, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, staying at home, social distancing, it can be hard to do when the surge hasn't hit yet and we don't actually see a surge affecting us. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, it's hard for high school students to maintain uh, stay at home orders and uh, maintain social distancing. It's difficult for everyone. Yeah, for everyone out there. All right. Thanks, David Gofferson.